my name is Molly Daniels, and I'm here again with head coach Josh Davis. Josh, how are you doing? And you got yourself a mic t- this time. I do. It's different, but we'll see how it works. <laughs> You've upgraded. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this last weekend. So we're only going to talk about one game. You guys played George Fox mm-hmm. on Saturday. So lost in three. Talk about that game. Uh, yeah, we started out the first set. It went... Um, pretty well we for the most part did our game plan they made some adjustments um i think the biggest adjustment that they made was they switched to a 5-1 and that really changed the whole look of their game um where the other ones that are making all the decisions um and they made some defensive changes that surrounded that aspect um and so i think you know sets one and two went all right not in our favor um we got the kills that we wanted as a whole team but we struggled and you know from the middle which i think was ultimately where we knew we could um take the game was if we you know we're getting the production out of the middles um and then set three our offense just kind of broke down um and that was kind of an easy one for them yeah (laughs) no worries but for sure a cool thing you guys are trying yeah different lineup it looks like you're playing zylinski and as well as uh, dixon right Mm -hmm. now so talk a little bit about that yeah um we have quite a few good servers on our team so we're trying to figure out how to utilize them Mm -hmm. um as well as get a little bit um more defensive digs from right back and so that really worked to have sophia um play defense back there and then we always had the option of running a 6-2 then um without having to make a sub and then we're still able to use lace as a serving sub or even as an outside so it allowed us to have a lot more flexibility in our um, rotations yeah that's awesome and then also raylan and reagan are your two probably most dominant attackers right and so i saw that raylan did really well and then you had reagan didn't have the highest stats as normal what do you do when you have like when one attackers off or like they're both off how do you address that i mean yeah we we kept just kept telling her ways to score and mm-hmm. um we knew raylan and um even kara were scoring by using the block to their advantage um and we think reagan was trying to avoid the block a little too much gotcha. so um we were hoping that in that third set we would she would get going a little bit but then mm-hmm. um she didn't really have any opportunities yeah. so okay. um but that was something that you know we did talk about with her, and um, we knew that Megan Stanek had a, came in and had a couple big plays for us yeah. in just that rotation one. So we knew that that was always an option, um, but we we never got to that in set three. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I mean, honestly, it just goes through you know slumps and not. And yeah. I mean, Reagan has been a lot more consistent consistent this year in general. You know, so just for that one game for our office, just one game. So good job for Raylan though. Came back from Willamette too, where they kind of flip flopped on their roles. So. Yeah. I mean, that's one game this weekend. You guys had a lot of time, got rest. Now you had practice. So this weekend, you're going to have one more home game on Friday, which is also going to be a YCC event, which is Young Cats Club. So check out the Young Cats coming out and cheering you guys on. And that's going to be at 7. And then also on Saturday, you're going to be having PLU at PLU. So And then you're going to have four away games after that. So yeah. how are you going to prepare for all the away games? Um, you know, I, I think I know I think we're ready for a couple of them especially the i know um once we go to plu we know that we want to get that one back and it it seems that other teams have been pushing them really hard so i think that gives us you know a little bit of confidence moving into that game and and then just going to the wits too we had that was you know kind of a in some ways a turning point in the season that gave us a little confidence so um we're excited for the wits to kind of um go back and prove to ourselves again what more we can do and um and you know this friday is another home game that we know that we can get and so uh, we're going to come out and uh, come on play strong and we have you know it's camper night as well so we know that we're going to have a lot of support yeah. in the stands and so we're going to really hope to use that to our advantage totally yeah so again there are still a lot of time left in the season which is awesome so home game on friday at seven against lewis and clark again ycc night so we see a lot of youngins you know bringing you guys on and then on saturday we'll be at plu at six so tune in and thank you